She got that six days of Midwest school. The kind of make a smart man a fool. What's going on, guys? This is Kazi. Welcome back to another epic video. And this is probably the most practical video on YouTube, especially on my channel, because when you're working as a colorist, your client wants to see a bunch of different looks really fast. Now, these techniques can be applied to any camera interiors, exteriors, day or night, whatever have you. Now, somebody looking at the timestamp is probably going lies. It's not a five minute long video. Well, don't include the talking heads. Just include the actual tutorial section is going to be right at five minutes or under. So get pumped about that. Ever wonder how to turn your SDR grade to HDR? In addition to that, this free webinar includes proper workflow to using Hollywood's most used film print emulation, custom techniques to stress testing your LUTs, future proof LUTs for HDR and ASUS workflow. Learn to balance your footage in seconds with printer lights. Secrets to building an HDR ready note tree. Prepping Dolby Vision trim for Netflix. Pro tip when saving a power grade. I will end the session with an extended Q&A. These questions came from you guys. Click the link in the description to sign up for this free training. And guys, if you're enjoying the content, you guys already know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and let's roll that intro. All right, so this is four looks under five minutes. It's gonna be a perfect scenario if you're sitting with your director and he wants to see a few quick looks just to kind of gauge which direction he or she wants to go in, all right? So I'm gonna blaze through it. This is gonna be less explaining and more showing. Obviously, I'm gonna commentate through, so let's get going. It's gonna be a simple five nodes node tree. The fifth one downstream is where I'm gonna put my CST. I know it's shot on Alexa, so I'm gonna set that up accordingly. And if you're wondering why I'm putting my CST on the end, watch the free training link is down below and you will have your answer. So this will be considered our first look. Okay. This is rec 709. This is what they saw on set. So that is going to be one look. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start creating my second look. So let's just go ahead and balance the shot out a little bit. So I'm going to go use my printer lights, check out my offset right here. That's all I'm doing. So I'm just pulling out a lot of red and I'm adding a lot of blue. Uh, to kind of just even out this image, right? Like just get it to a point where it's looking really nice. So already, right? Like, I mean, and just look at what's happening here too. So like I balanced out the image really quick just by hitting a couple of different keys. And now what I want to do is I want to go in here. So let's call this our primaries. And uh, now I want to go here and I want to use glow. And um, once again, we're doing it really quick, okay? So I'm going to drop my glow on. I'm going to change that to soft light. Now what I want to do is I want to take my shine threshold. I want to start opening it up. So when I open it up, I don't want to open it too much because my focus is on the skin and I want that to just look flawless. So even something like this, I'm going to take my spread and do we have some room to mess around with that? Like even something like that. And now keep it somewhere around here. I want to go under my brightness and raise it up just to kind of give it like this nice glowy fun look. And uh, let's see. I'm going to keep this right here. Just look at the colors that we're getting. Okay. Like look at the information that we're about to pull out just by doing this. Okay. And now if I control my spread, we can even create more of like a dramatic effect. So even like Something like this. And then once again, I can just go under my brightness and raise it up a little bit. So if I do before and after, just look at the amount of difference that we made. So that is going to be our second look. But before I do that, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to type in grain. I'm going to drop on my grain and I'm going to keep it in 16 millimeter. So let's open that up. And I want to go under my advanced controls. I want to take my midtone and I want to crank it up. So this is like, you know, us trying to create a 80s look, you know, like old school uh, shot on 16 millimeter, just give it a lot more texture. Okay, so this is looking really, really good. Uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to change anything up? Do I want to go and just like maybe lift up my blues a little bit? Uh, so let me see. Maybe I can do. You know what? I'm liking how it's looking like maybe. No, okay, so I'm gonna. All right, I'm going to take one of the blues out and then let's see. Let's take the yellow down. 
That's actually not bad. This is looking pretty cinematic because the idea of color grading is to create something really unique, something really different. When I look at my vector scopes that look really good, we just created a really cool look. So I'm going to park this and let's create a new look. I'm going to get rid of this. And this time we're going to create a warm look. But I mean, right now it's a bit too warm. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go under uh, my red channel and I'm going to pull this down. And then I'm going to go under my blue channel and lift it up a little bit, not too much. Basically, I'm trying to go for a gold look. OK, so I'm going for that gold look. So uh, can we take away more from the red? I don't think so. Uh, what else do we want to do? So do we want to add maybe a little bit more cyan, something like that? So that has a bit more of that gold look that I'm talking about. And then the focus is always on the skin. So I want the skin to be really, really rich. So this is looking kind of cool. Um, this also looks good. Now I'm going to go in my log wheels because like right now this could also pass for like, uh, let's call it a little bit more of a sepia look. So we still want enough colors to have some separation. So I'm going to go under here. I'm going to take my shadows and I'm going to pull the red down. Um, I'm going to pull the blue up a little bit and I'm going to take my green and keep it down somewhere around here. Pull the red down a little bit more. So like if I do before and after, you start to see the difference that we're creating. You see it here, you see it there, you see it here. So that's enough uh, to have that separation, yet we still have a really warm uh, and fuzzy look. So that's our third look. Now I'm going to reset this. I'm going to reset my primaries. I'm going to come in here. Now I'm going to create a cooler look. So now we're going to go in a completely opposite direction. So let's bring the reds down all the way. Let's pull the blues up quite a bit. And now what I want to do is I want to just kind of go in my cyan and pull it up even more and then keep dropping my red and then see what I want to do. So like I'm going to raise my blue up more and uh, let's see which direction do we want to go in. So now it just comes down to the skin. Like do we want to keep it a bit more realistic or do we want to which direction do we want to go in? So even if we go here, it's very nice. Like the skin is very believable and natural, yet we create a really cool look. So at this point, what I can do is I can click this guy and look at all our four looks. And just like look at the difference between all of them, okay? And we're done. So this is for just to get your director's blessing and then moving forward from that point on. So we have our Rex out of nine right, right here. We have the, you know, colorist grade, if you will, right here. And then we have a warmer version that plays off of this, but then still brings in a lot of gold tones. And there's a method to, you know, our madness. And like we're adding some complementary colors to have some separation. And then here we have like a really nice, cool look, but still very believable and is very different than this look right here. So you pick whichever one you love. And then at that point, you can just hit play and it will play all four looks together so your client can see and then determine which one they want to uh, move forward with. So hopefully this was helpful. Let's check out the final looks in full screen. So guys, as I already mentioned, this is an extremely useful set of skills to have under your belt, especially when you're working as a colorist. Your clients would love you for it when you give a bunch of different options. And it just makes you fast too, you know, where you start thinking outside the box because you wouldn't know the possibilities until you try something. And for those that really want to take their color grading game to the next level, do not forget to check out the link to the free training down below. And guys, if you're enjoying the content, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. And I will see you guys in the next video. We'll